The Rolling Stones, Gaga, Wonder dropped their Holy Trinity collab. Nobody could have foreseen this collaboration, yet it has happened. On September 25th, The Rolling Stones' Blue and Lonesome released Sweet Sounds of Heaven, a song that will appear on their next album Hackney Diamonds. Stevie Wonder A Time to Love and Lady Gaga Love for Sale are included in the song. Although uncommon, the pairing is unquestionably advantageous. It is immediately apparent that Mick Jagger's voice Strange Game is in excellent condition and sounds almost exactly like it did when he was younger. Since the Stones haven't put out an album since 2016, hearing him sing is undoubtedly a treat. He obviously takes good care of his voice. Stevie Wonder still plays the piano with the same effortless grace and smoothness that you could almost feel the keys bounce. Play me something, Jagger tells him about midway through, and Wonder complies by making the piano sing. Since Wonder's previous album was released in 2005, this song serves as a sort of comeback for him as well. Though he has done several guest appearances in recent years with artists like Elton John The Lockdown Sessions and John Legend A Legendary Christmas. When Gaga sings her part in this song, she does so in a manner that is very different from how she usually performs. If she was not recognized as a featured artist, it would be difficult for even a devoted fan to recognize her work. That's okay too, it just serves as evidence of her artistic talent. It makes sense because she has a remarkable vocal range. She can sing a lot more than upbeat mainstream dance songs, including jazz and the blues. Those who pay close attention to Gaga know that she really does have a dynamic vocal range, and in recent years, she has added jazz songs to her repertoire. As this article is being written, Lady Gaga is touring in Las Vegas under the name Lady Gaga Enigma plus Jazz and Piano. Not to mention, she worked on the album Love for Sale with the late and legendary Tony Bennett, The Art of Romance and even performed with him on a number of songs. The absence of auto-tune in Sweet Sounds of Heaven is its strongest feature. It doesn't show if they're there. The music is affecting and soulful without making the listeners doze off. It appears to be the first gospel rock song from any group in a very long time, one that pays particular attention to the world and its problems. Sweet Sounds of Heaven seems to revive a lost art in a time when the term rock is used so loosely to refer to any song that uses a guitar, the actual power of soul and gospel in the hands of skilled musicians. That fusion of genres showcases the origins of original rock because rock would not have existed without the development of gospel or soul. The Rolling Stones' Sweet Sounds of Heaven is a magnificent preview of what's to come and is entirely deserved of acclaim from both above and below.